hey what's up y'all welcome back to my channel so y'all the last video i posted was so comical to me uh i found out or i read that diddy's sons all three of them quincy justin and what's the other one's name christian uh they all tried to fight ray j and chris brown had to intervene but they tried to fight ray j over something that he said about diddy and i guess in the interview a recent interview he just did something off the wall i guess he said about diddy but i can't find what it is that he said about diddy because honestly uh i didn't listen to any of the i don't listen to any interviews uh, that anybody's doing talking about diddy or whatever he has going on or whatever or whatever i haven't even been wanting to say anything about diddy here lately because i'm just overwhelmed with the diddy news every day is something different and I've been kind of sick of that for a minute, y'all. But like I said, when I saw this about his sons wanting to fight Ray J, I just, that was just comical to me. So that's why I had to say something about it. So now I look out here today and I see WAC 100. I don't know if y'all seen the last video I made about WAC 100 where he was talking about Kendrick sent a cease and desist. I mean, not Kendrick, but Drake sent a cease and desist to kendrick and his team for kendrick not to be able to perform not like us at the super bowl which i thought that that was kind of a little bit off the wall but i don't know a whole lot about drake and the stuff that i've heard about him over the years it did not seem too far-fetched that he would have done that but apparently drake did not send out anything his team of people whoever they did not send out anything to kendrick or Kendrick's people in regards to Kendrick not performing not like us at the Super Bowl. So WAC 100 later came out and said, after everybody is up in arms, WAC 100 comes back and says that it was, you know, he lied pretty much, that it was false. He lied. Dude, you are a grown man. I say this about him every single time I have to say something about WAC 100 because every single time, He's always in something negative. Whenever his name comes up, it's always in something always in something negative. And then he's a chatty patty. He runs his mouth like these youngers out here. And dude, you like what? Pushing 60 maybe? Not that age has anything to do with anything, but you would think that somebody his age would be a lot more mature than how, you know, than, than the way WAC 100 acts. He's too old. That's what I mean by he's too old to be doing what he does. Like, he seems to just promote violence. Like, you're not doing anything out here to help trying to find a solution to the situations that's going on out here with all of this violence going on in rap. Dude, you are right there. You're not trying to do anything to curb the violence going on in rap. You just keep trying to egg stuff on. Because that rumor that he said about Drake sending the cease and desist to Kendrick, the way that a lot of these fans out here are, he could have had somebody trying to knock Drake's head off just because of that. They are hardcore Kendrick, Kendrick fan. So they may have want, been wanting to go do something to Drake just by off of a lie that you told. That's what I mean. You too old for that. You too old for that. So anyway, y'all, now here he is again uh with this situation that's going on with uh diddy's sons trying to fight ray j here's WAC 100 again just pretty much promoting violence because you're not doing anything to try to help the situation and ray j even asked him not to put that information online and he put it online anyway although he did he said that you know f that that's what he was going to do he was going to put it online anyway but that's just kind of fueling you know adding fuel to the fire that's just adding fuel to the fire now you have people out here that might be wanting to go do something to diddy sons because you putting that fuel to that fire when it could have been something that was just all said and done with, okay, and then everybody going about their day, but you keep adding on to it. You're adding on to it. That's what I mean when I say this man is too grown to be doing what, what he's doing, y'all. So um, let me read this article.
Wack 100 sends warning to Diddy's sons after Ray J fight. That's what it's going to be if we run into you. Act like it's 1995. Y'all, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Because, see, now I'm tripping real quick because, just like I said, this man too damn old to be doing the stuff and acting like he acts. And now you're sitting here threatening, kid, talking about if we run into you, it's going to act like it's 1995. These kids probably weren't born until 1995. So how are they supposed to act? You talking about act like it's 1995 in relation to, to these youngins? Y'all, I cannot with him. I'm surprised he hasn't had his head knocked off yet, y'all. I'm talking about WAC 100. He does too much. Somebody is going to end up catching up with him and knocking his head off. People not going to keep on playing with you, old man. You too old to be doing the stuff that you're doing. Why are you out here promoting violence with these kids? Why are you out here promoting violence with these kids? Instead of trying to say, come on, let's go sit down and let's get Ray J and let's all go sit down and see, you know, try to figure something out. But here you go, an old man egging these youngins on to when somebody want to go do something to somebody and then everybody want to sit there and boo-hoo and cry like you didn't help get to that point. You didn't help egg that on and get that to that point. He's too old for this. So anyway, y'all, let me get back to the article. WAC 100 issued a stern warning to Diddy's sons after they had attempted to jump Ray J on Tuesday night, October 29th. Wack popped online for a live stream with some of his boys as they talked about what went down with Ray at a recent Halloween party in Los Angeles. Wack then called the R&B singer to explain the situation, to which Ray J detailed that he was rushed by eight people, including Justin and Christian Combs and their brother Quincy. As the One Wish artist continued his story, he stated that Chris Brown interfered in the potential squabble and that everyone went their separate ways. The artist could be heard pleading with Wack to not put this online and to leave them young niggas alone, to which Wack 100 vehemently fought against it. Wack Nakash Jones then asked Ray J if it was safe to now put out information that they've been holding on to about Diddy and his family. Ray J responded saying, nah, they too young. That's why I moved away from it and tried to talk some sense into what happened. So this is the live stream from WAC 100, y'all. So let me play this for y'all real quick. How many of them was it? Two, three, what? I don't know, like eight. Oh, so it was them and eight and they tried to rush you for real. <laughs> yeah, but don't put this up, blood. Nah, it's going out. Nah, bro. It's going, it's just going out, dog. Like, fuck them niggas down. So my question to you is, can I put the other stuff out that we've been knowing about? Nah, they, they, they too young. Like, it's like that. Like, I, I moved away from it. Like, huh? I tried, to talk some, I tried to talk some sense into, like, what happened, but I just, I'm saying, luckily the homie Chris is here. What, wait, what Chris? Brown, bro. But, well, whack, don't put this shit up online. Bro. Nah, it's this. I don't fuck them niggas. Nah, but still, don't. It's going up. It's already online. It's online that the niggas tried to rush you and you ain't told me shit. Fuck you, it's everywhere, nigga. It's everywhere that the niggas tried to rush you. They ain't said they put their hands on you. I just said the little homie gonna squabble up. I thought it was just one. Now you telling me them and eight niggas. So it's on. Nah, that's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna call you when I get back tomorrow. I'm gonna pull up on you. All right. They tried to get the little one. Yeah, but whack, they hot as they hot as fire grease right now. Leave those niggas alone. Man, they, man, I don't give a fuck how hot they is. They, they, they hot. They hot. Yeah. Nigga, if we run they, into they you, hot. nigga, when we run into you, act like it's 1995. Yeah. Period. They hot though. So Okay, so let me let me let me just get back to the rest of this article, y'all. Uh I'm not gonna read all of this right here, but I will put it up. It was actually from Instagram from the neighborhood talk. So some of y'all may have already seen this already. 
but I'll take a screenshot of this and put this up. I'm not going to try to sit and read this right now, y'all. So I'll put it up just in case y'all want to see it and haven't seen it or whatever. But anyway, back to the article. After the call with the singer ended, Wack turned his attention to Diddy's sons and began his ominous warning. It's on, Wack 100 said. That's what it's going to be if we run into you, act like it's 1995. The fight between Ray J and Diddy's boys was prompted by the music veteran's recent critical assessment of the disgraced mogul. Earlier this month, Ray J debuted his new show, The Reality Show News, where he addressed his relationship with Sean Combs. He was disappointed in Combs and swore to expose others like him. Okay, so now I get it. Now I get it. Now I see. I, I said... Uh, when I made that other video in regards to Diddy's sons wanting to fight Ray J, I didn't understand what, why they, you know, what Ray J said to make them feel the way that they felt. Because from the stuff that I was seeing or the clips or whatever that I was seeing in the interviews that he was doing, it was my understanding that he was def defending Diddy, like how a whole lot of the rest of them were doing. So I really didn't take the time to even listen to it and I don't even know where the interview was from. I didn't know that that was from his reality, uh, from his reality show. But apparently, that's what it is because he's saying that he's going to expose Diddy. So Ray J, I apologize. I thought you were on the bandwagon like the rest of his friends, child. I thought Ray J was on that bandwagon. I thought that he was defending Diddy, but apparently he is not. So that's the reason why uh, Diddy's sons want to fight him. But they need to understand because they too grown too, all of them running up on, ain't they about 30? So they're definitely old enough to understand that your dad really was out there doing stuff. They probably seen him doing things. But of course, he's their father, so it's only right that they defend him. But doing all of that where you're literally trying to go fight somebody because uh, I would be kind of looking like if this dude had information on my dad and on my family, why would I even go try to even press his buttons to make him want to put that information out there? Because apparently if he hasn't put it out there yet, he's still holding on to it and still debating on if he wants to put it out there. I don't know. They doing too much. If I was Ray J, I probably would have threw that out there quick. Like, oh, so y'all want to be playing around? Oh, okay, here we go. But I could be petty like that sometimes. But y'all, they doing too much. They all too old. Whack 100, Diddy Sons, Ray J. They all too old. All of them too old to be doing all of this that y'all doing. And then this situation that we have going on in the black community as far, I don't care if you're out here in the streets or if you're in the music industry. It's the same thing. They getting killed in the music industry just like they getting killed out here in the street. So why are we still promoting violence? Why are we still promoting violence instead of trying to, just like I said, whack 100, you too old. You should be trying to go sit them down somewhere and talk to them. But anyway, y'all. Uh, so let me get back to the article. Diddy was my friend. Ray J said of his personal relationship with the disgraced mogul. What do you do when you never seen all this ish that people are talking about? Do you believe it? Everybody's innocent until proven guilty. Do you forgive someone for taking somebody's ass? There's a lot of people out here taking from people. People are getting robbed of not only their money and their spirituality, they're getting robbed of their womanhood and manhood. Asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. So that's what Ray J said. Okay, I get it. I get it. I can see why they're mad. But again, just like I said, y'all too grown for all of that. So anyway, I'm exhausted with the people in this industry that have power who are abusing the power. Ray J said at one point during the episode, I can say a lot of names, but I won't today, but I will soon. So I'm going to play this real quick, y'all. Let me post this on here because I did not see this. This uh, this is not um, from any of the interview, any of the clips that I've seen. I think that he was on the clips that I've seen was him on CNN or something like that. He was on somebody's news network. But so anyway, y'all, just like I said, it's just too much. It's too much going on out here 
within the black community. It's too much going on out here in the black community to have these successful people who a lot of kids look up to and y'all out here acting like assholes and if you have kids out here idolizing you they're going to act just like you so they're going to be out here acting like assholes we have all of this unaliving and all of that going on because somebody want to be like somebody it's always the case somebody especially when it when it comes to these kids just like i say they're so easily influenced and idolize people. Y'all have y'all kids out here idolizing people like Sexy Red, uh, Ice Spice, uh, you know, whoever else, a whole lot of these other rappers. King Von was another one. As much as I love King Von, I don't think that I would have wanted my young child to idolize someone who we know the life King Von lived before he even got into rapping. So, well, a lot of people, if you followed the drill movement, from the beginning, a lot of us knew who King Von was before King Von even started rapping. A lot of people didn't know about him until after he started rapping, but a lot of us knew about him before he started rapping and knew about the stuff that he was doing out there in the streets. I wouldn't I wouldn't want my child to idolize him. Just like I said, I love King Von. I love his music and all of that, but I'm grown. I would not want my child idolizing someone who has you know you you're you're known you have bodies out there that you know that not only did you claim but your friends your ops and other people are claiming that these bodies are yours so we know that you've taken lives you rapped about taking lives you know you were just just doing so much and y'all have y'all kids idolizing these people so that's why i say that instead of WAC 100 trying to be out here uh, egging it on, talking about what you're going to do to some, act like it's 95 to kids who were born in like 1995. You're too damn old for that. It's too much killing and all of that going on out here for, for, for any of them. Just like I said, even Diddy's kids, they all up on like 30 years old. So it's, it's, it's all of them are too grown and too old to be doing, to be doing any of this, to be doing all of this. It's nothing but violence going on in this world. And you don't have any one, I don't hear or see any one of these that all of these kids are looking up to trying to speak up against violence or speak out against violence, should I say. But yet you have, y'all, let me get up off of that, y'all. So anyway, I'm pretty much done with this video. I just wanted to, because I didn't read the article, like I said, of the initial when the fight or whatever was supposed to have taken place or whenever it was supposed to have happened or whatever. I just saw it and just had to say something about it real quick. So I was going to come out here and read the article for that uh, in this video until I saw this. And I thought that I would rather say something about this because why 100? And then all of these grown, all of these, all of them, all of these grown men that you have sitting online talking about, you sitting up there talking about what you going to do to somebody. It's on site and all of that to these little boys. So anyway, he about to have more of a problem. He about to have more of an issue going on because I'm sure Diddy still have people out here in the streets that's not going to play about his kids. Even if they're not even messing with Diddy too much right now, they're probably not going to play about his kids. And even if they don't mess with Diddy at all, they're not going to play about Kim Porter's kids. You see what I'm saying? So you about to, if he carrying it on with it like that, he about to have it being more of an issue than what it needs to be because it's going to be a whole lot of people involved and Diddy sitting up in jail, he, I mean, it's just too much. Like, come on, y'all. Like, chill out. Like, yeah, we can laugh at things and all of that because just like I said, when I first heard about this, them trying to fight Ray J, it was comical to me. Like, I literally burst out and started laughing, which is why I had to say something immediately after seeing that. But this, what I'm seeing right here today of what WAC 100 is talking about, this is not funny right here because you're about to have somebody else either, it's, you're about to have too much going on. 
So anyway, y'all, just like I said, these grown ass people need to stop acting like kids, stop promoting violence and try to do something to help these kids out here trying to try to change the way that they think and try to change their minds from everybody thinking that the only way to solve an issue is violence. Because ain't too many people going to be out here fighting. Ain't too many people going to be out here fighting. It might be a fight and then somebody going to want to come back with gunplay because they're going to be mad because they got beat up. So it's not too much of that going on. So why even have all of this going on where it can just escalate to the point of somebody losing their lives? And then I guarantee you, if it escalates to that point, I guarantee you that Ray J and all three of Diddy's sons, lives will be spared. It's going to be one of their boys or somebody like that who's going to, you know, probably end up losing their lives behind all this shit that they have going on. So, which is nonsense, which is nonsense. So, anywho, y'all, thank y'all for watching my video. I'm out.